How do you winterize a swimming pool main drain? This has got to be the most common question about winterizing in-ground swimming pools because, I mean, what are you going to do, swim down there and put a plug in it? Obviously, nobody's doing that. And the answer is, is that you're supposed to airlock your main drain. So here we are, we're winterizing the pool system. We're at the equipment, which has all been drained, pump filter, heater, have all had the plugs pulled. And now we're blowing air from the pump through the main drain line. So it goes from the pump through the suction side manifold, through a valve, presumably through the main drain pipe, which runs all the way back to the pool, all the way down to the floor of the pool. And now we should have bubbles coming out of the main drain because we're blowing through that line. So while the blower is still running, we've we've let it run for a little bit. We've got all the water out of that line and it's now just air bubbles. Close the valve that isolates that main drain line while the blower is still running. So again, you, then you would immediately turn off the blower or remove the blower from uh, where you have it plugged into the pump. But at that point, the main drain line is now airlocked. What essentially is happening here is the same effect that you'd get when you put a straw into liquid, the straw fills with liquid. But if you have your finger over the top of the straw and you submerge it into the liquid, there's no liquid in the straw. The straw is airlocked. And that's what the main drain has just become as well. Because we've isolated uh, the main drain line with that valve while it was still under pressure, no water could refill that line. And you know that you'll have done it correctly because at this point, everything's off. If you were to open that main drain line again, you'll hear like a big puff of air as water now reoccupies that line that was empty. So that is the trick for how you winterize main drains is you simply do an airlock on them. And it's, you know, could be a little bit different on every pool, depending on what your configuration is like. But that is what the process looks like. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.